I, I think there are lots of ways to get to Broadway. There are people who went to conservatories, there are people who didn't. There are people who didn't go to college at all, there are people who, um, who went to conservatories in the best schools and are, are not on Broadway, you know? Um, I would say, knowing what I know now, and, and you know, where, where I am, I would say my number one advice to young people is to relax and to chill. Because if you are a person, people don't do that now. They don't, <laughs> and I think that so many young people, especially ones who have a dream when they're twelve, which is a wonderful blessing, but it's also very demanding on a twelve-year-old to have a dream as big as Broadway. Um, that you should be striving for excellence and education and learning and be open to whatever path that journey and education takes you on. Um, on my podcast this week, I have one of our dressers at uh, Hamilton, Chris Leary, who, is, who, who studied dance as a child, went to college for acting, and is now in the wardrobe department and loving every single second of it. And I think that his journey is such a good example for young people because his journey's not over, but he's somebody who didn't close himself off from all the other opportunities and ways to be a part of art and creating. And this business is huge. There are so many different entry points into being a part of Broadway. And if you close your mind off to, I have to just be starring in a Broadway show or I won't have quote unquote made it, you're going to really miss out on a lot of opportunities.